Speaking of good tips, Tom Vakar is here today with some good tips about telephones. I don't know about you guys, but we're trying to figure out whether or not we're supposed to buy the telephones, whether or not we want to rent the old ones, or confusing. just what the deal is. So Tom is here with all the advice you can possibly get, and he also has some fascinating telephones, including Mickey Mouse. Yeah, there's a Mickey Mouse telephone. There's, we're going to show I, you There was today. one that I fell in love with. What's that? It was $1,500. <laughs> oh, I see. Naturally. Good taste, this lady. Oh, I have wonderful taste, yes. Mm. We also love chicken. We love to cook chicken. <laughs> Welcome back to AM San Francisco. I have here something I haven't seen in a long time, a rather basic telephone, as a matter of fact. But we have with us today a guy who has a whole bunch of different kinds of telephones with us, and he really knows the ins and outs about renting and buying and what kind of phones and all that kind of stuff. Please welcome consumer reporter from KGO TV, Tom Vakar. How are you doing, Tommy? How are you doing? All righty. Now. Terry and I have been trying to figure out, we keep getting these things during this past year, uh, you can buy your telephone, and we think, wait a minute, why should I put on all that dough? What's the, what's the skinny here? Huh? Well, I think the real skinny is that we're dealing in the most significant corporate breakup in the history of the United States, perhaps the world. We're talking about the breakup of a company that was 100 years old, which was by far the largest company that with assets and, and real physical sure. things that they held on to. And it worked, too. It worked very well. It was, it was and still is the best one in the world. Uh, it's a little bit threatened now because of the breakup, but it certainly, in, in a very real sense, was probably the finest communication system ever set up at any time in history. Now, what does all of this mean to you? Well, it used to be that the whole system was owned by the company, and they had a very jealous interest in all of it. They wanted to make sure that everything worked, and when it didn't, they paid to make sure that it did work. Mm -hmm. And that's why uh, that was a very important part of the the whole quality aspect of it. Since they owned all the equipment, they didn't want to have to run out and fix it all the time. And as a result, they overbuilt telephones to the nth degree. Now we have an opportunity to share in some of that if we want to buy our older telephones because they are now deregulated. They are being split off. And what is really in effect happening is the telephone company is being extremely streamlined for the purpose of making it a lot less equipment heavy and a lot more high tech oriented. So instead of them providing the phones for us, now we can actually go out and buy one. Now, you, what's the advantage of, of both sides, though? Okay. To some people, it's better to rent, to continue renting, huh? Here's a lot of people in the industry will say that I'm wrong about this because they have a, a vested interest. Sure. By AT&T's own admission, the average Western Electric telephone, your basic telephone, breaks down about once every seven years. Hmm. So the rule of thumb is very simply this. If you have a telephone that's six or seven years or older, I wouldn't buy it for one reason. It's going to break down. Now, you continue to rent it at a buck or two or three a month, whatever you're renting it for. You have to rent it for a long period of time before you use up the $30, $40, or $50 it's going to cost to get it fixed that's when true. it breaks down yeah. now. Uh, because once you buy it, you get a very limited warranty with your used telephone, and then you're on your own. You're going to have to go out and find your own repair people, and you're going to have to go out and pay whatever price they want. Mm -hmm. So if you've got an older telephone, don't buy it. If you just got your phone this year or last year, it's brand new. It's still a Western Electric product built to those same very high standards. I would buy that telephone because by the time it fails, you will have uh, saved so much in rental fees that it would be worth it. And obviously, though the average phone fails once every seven years, I know people who have had phones 20 and 30 years have never had a problem sure. with them. Let's assume for a moment now that we might want to go out and buy one, though. I mean, there's a whole flood of this stuff on the market. No question. All different kinds of them. All the way from Mickey Mouse telephones to Marilyn Monroe telephones to the, your old basic ones. Why don't we just start with some basic information for these folks? Who, in case you want to... There are many, many things that you can do. Now, let's go over to the... Well, in fact, I think uh, $160 is nothing compared to what we're going to see. But first, we're going to take a commercial break. Okay. And then we're going to show you one that costs $1,500 for the person who doesn't have everything in telephones. First, this. <laughs> AT&T sells, Pactel sells, and I always just assume that they would be but partners. But Pactel you know? sells only by catalog. They don't have phone stores yet. If you want to buy directly from Pacific Telephone or Pacific Telesis, as it's called now, mm -hmm. you call them and they'll send you a catalog. And the catalog has a variety of telephones in it, your basic telephones like we've always had, mm -hmm. and then they've got a lot of new high-tech telephones. The bottom line here is shop around for feature service and most importantly warranty. In fact, if you call the operator, dial zero, uh, that'll happen, right? That's right. Yeah. They'll okay. put you right in touch with uh, Pactel and you can get yourself a catalog. You can also get one from the Sharper Image and we're going to show you a couple of phones from them. Okay. They're the high-tech company. That, it's a high-tech boutique that does a lot of different things. <laughs> Here is what a, is uh, Can here, you see that? here's Look a duck that. phone. <laughs> now, we have a cameraman by the name Al Bullock who would love this phone because when you pick it up, it Whack, quacks. Out. Whack. Yeah, yes, when, it yes, rings, yes. when it rings, it quacks at you. And this comes from the Sharper <laughs> Image. But for basic telephone service, we're talking $250. Whoa, so already. I think here I'll pass. is. Isn't this a beauty? 
Remember, did anybody, can anybody remember calling Central back in the good old days? That's it. This That's is the a, sound. This is a museum quality re replica of the first handset telephone that was built in Sweden uh, in 1892. Neat. It is museum quality, but still your basic touchtown telephone, but the price tag on this one is $1,500. <laughs> oh, can you believe that? That'll pay a lot of phone bills. But bro. it is well done, that's for sure. Well, you, we've gotten, obviously, we've seen a heck of a variety here of telephones. Why don't we give the folks this kind of a summary? Our Once summary. again, Buying or renting? Buying or renting is very simple, and let's put up these graphics, and here's what we want to say. If you're going to, uh, uh, if you have an older telephone, six years or older, keep leasing it because the service is included, you're probably going to need it. Or return the old telephone and purchase a new one if you're going to buy a telephone, mm -hmm. and I would, that would be the thing. Now, when you're going to buy, you want to get touch tone versus rotary because touch tone is the new high tech, and the fact is you're going to have to access a lot of systems. You don't want to overbuy, which many of us want to do. We want to buy all this high tech, and then we never end up using it. Be careful not to underbuy because there are some things that we are going to be needing in the future. So just kind of wait before you buy in many cases. And ob obviously, always consider warranty and service. Finally, what we want to say is where can you buy? Well, you can continue to buy from AT&T. Pacific Bell or Pacific Tel, as it's called, Pactel <laughs> sells them. There are electronic stores like Radio Shack. There are phone boutiques like the Phone Depot that lend us some of these telephones. There are department stores like Macy's, Emporium, you name it, they've all got them. And you can also buy them through the mail. Bottom line is, shop around. There are hundreds of telephones available out there. And before you buy, just don't buy the first thing that comes along. Buy the thing that's right for you. And that means sitting down and really thinking about it. Because in most of these cases, you'll end up owning these things or being saddled with them for years. There will not be a big used telephone market. <laughs> OK. By the way, just for all you folks, we're going to make sure that all of you get the, one of these out here in the audience, too. OK? Just a little nice little touch for you. And Tommy, thank you very much. A lot of interesting thank stuff, you. really. Tom, of course, you can catch him on